Not much has been said about Vice President Mike Pence's Chief of Staff, Nick Ayers, but at a recent meeting with the Republican National Committee in Washington, D.C., Ayers let his feelings be known about the members of Congress who do not support Donald Trump, uh, specifically just the Republican members of Congress who aren't blindly following the president and vice president. Ayers told the crowd at the RNC meeting that we need to purge these non-Trump supporting Republicans from Congress and start backing pro-Trump people all over the country to replace them in office. Ayers believes that it is the job of every member of Congress who is a member of the Republican party and some who are members of the Democratic party to blindly support Donald Trump and Mike Pence, regardless of how crazy their ideas are, regardless of how stupid they are, and regardless of how hateful these two men act in public and in private. Ayers believes that everyone needs to blindly support the president. And if you don't, you are going to, as Ayers said, be purged. Now here's something that Ayers needs to understand. There's not a single person in this country whose job it is to blindly support the president. Not one, not even Donald Trump's wife. It is the job of a member of Congress to act in the best interests of their constituents and their country as a whole. Um, Donald Trump doesn't fall into really either of those categories because he's the leader of the country. So you can't exactly legislate for the person above you. So Ayers is just dead wrong about everything, but Ayers mentality represents a cancer that runs through the Republican party. And it's been running through the Republican party since at least the George W. Bush administration. And that is Republicans are a bunch of cheerleaders. It doesn't matter who their president is, who their leader is. They are forced to blindly support them no matter what they do, no matter how much they disagree with it. It's their job to support them to their credit. The democratic party does not do this. I think the 2016 election was a very good example of that. And while it may not have ended very well for the party, it does show that at least we're capable of independent thinking. We're capable of making our own decisions. We're capable of calling out our leaders when they screw up or do something that is working in the, against the best interest of the rest of us. Republicans don't have that. And Nick Ayers uh, wants to go ahead and purge the very few members of the Republican party in DC who've been willing to say no to Trump on a few occasions, because even people like John McCain have still voted in favor of every single Donald Trump appointee. Oh yeah. He voted against the healthcare bill twice. Good for him. He supported everything else. This president pushed. So have the majority of Republicans in Washington, DC. There aren't really any mavericks. There aren't any lone wolves out there trying to make things better for the Republican party. There's a bunch of spineless yes men and yes women who blindly support the president. And Nick Ayers needs to understand that they might vote no on a couple issues here and there, but overall, I think it's safe to say that the majority of those people in DC have blindly supported Donald Trump and Mike Pence since day one. Thanks for watching. And if you like what you see here on ring of fire, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel. Um, you can see the little subscribe button down there, but if you're watching it on another device where you can't see it, go to youtube.com slash the ring of fire, hit subscribe, be notified every time we get a new video.